what we did this week is we did the uh, semi-annual uh, rehearsal of the plan to conduct reintegration. Uh, reintegration is the process uh, that we take our soldiers, contractors, and civilians through post-captivity. Uh, this week we brought our alerted all of our teams within Army South. We brought our family assistance teams together to provide training so they understood how to provide family support uh, to those families whose loved ones may be held captive or, or may be isolated, uh, and then how to help that family as we go through the reintegration process. Uh, we also rehearsed our procedures with Brook Army Medical Center, uh, with Lackland Air Force Base, with Fort Sam Houston on how to provide support uh, to the reintegration process so that everyone understood the importance of the mission, uh, the moving pieces of the mission, and what their requirements are to make sure that we do this in a smooth uh, manner. That's a mission that we've executed uh, three times in the past. We've executed this mission uh, for a contractor uh, that was held for 84 days in the CENTCOM AR. Uh, we executed the mission for the three SRS hostages that were held in Columbia. And then in April this year, we executed the mission uh, for the Department of the Army civilian that was held in captivity in Iraq. It's a week-long training. Uh, we train all of the different uh, uh, key team leaders, our family assistance team leader and our family assistance teams that provide family support. Our transition point team that ensures the insulation and the medical facility is prepared for the arrival. Our initial reception party that will go and receive the returnee uh, from the recovery forces, uh, from the combatant commanders, uh, to bring them here so that we can do the process. At the end, of it, uh, we finish it up with a rehearsal of concept drill. Uh, where we bring all the key players and all the staff directors together. Uh, we have an appointed reintegration uh, OIC that's an 06. Uh, we back brief him on the mission, uh, what the scope of the mission is, who our teams are, who those key players are, and then our assessment that we're prepared, uh, trained, and equipped to execute this mi uh, mission on a moment's notice.